Welcome back. We are continuing through element 20 of your life book, which is maximizing your anti-inflammation protection. All right. So 418 today, once again, this element is super short. So we are going back over to this Dr. Ace Habits of Health book. All right. So page 418 in the life book actually correlates to um, pages 455 and 456 in this other book. And this is about beating stress and curbing your inflammation with healthy behaviors, right? Something that we've been talking about, right? This is that non-food portion of being healthy, okay? So some of the tips that Dr. A um, mentions in here, you're not gonna be surprised, right? On how we can beat some stress and calm inflammation, treating your body with a massage, okay? Massages, it's a nice way to help you relax, restore balance to your musculoskeletal system, especially when you're stressed, when you're stiff or just worn out. And it even actually, Dr. A says, it helps lower your CRP inf inflammation. We talked about that the other day, right? Another one is doing some yoga because not only are you going to learn to um, breathe deep, but you're going to stretch unused muscles and maybe even find a little more inner peace. Okay. Another thing, take a warm bath. It soothes your muscles and your mind and you're taking time for yourself, right? Can you make your home a little more cozy and inspiring? And that may look like turning on some soft music, maybe putting up some beautiful art, something that you know makes you smile when you take a look at it. Plant a garden, create a spot for meditation, maybe hang some wind chimes or build a waterfall or retention pond if that's something that you can do. Laughter, and you probably have heard this before, it's really been shown to a great way to reduce stress. It actually also decreases the CRP and lowers unhealthy hormone levels. So watch a funny movie, tell jokes, find time to laugh with your family and friends. Or the next time that you're really feeling super stressed, try rustling up that energy to smile. And even if it feels forced at first, just smiling by its very nature helps reduce bad feelings. All right, so give it a shot. What have you got to lose? Smile. The other thing he says is about focusing on the positive. Um, you know, it's so easy to slip into this negative self-talk, but think about it. Why would you say something bad about yourself that you would never even dream of saying to someone else? So turn that internal dialogue into a running commentary on all the reasons you have to be grateful. Dr. A um, says that no discussion of inflammation would be complete without addressing stress, right? Which is one of the biggest contributors to a host of health complications. When our bodies are stressed, we're locked into that fight or flight mode. We really struggle to function at our best. And, you know, much of the material that we've covered this week and in previous elements, they can help you reduce stress, such as stop, challenge, and choose, exercising more frequently, right? We, we've talked about these things, um, but stress is really best addressed in our mind. So if stress is a significant challenge for you today, you may want to jump ahead to element 23 in your life book, which is mastering your thoughts and emotions. I'm going to get there in a couple of weeks. All right. But, um, you can jump ahead. Um, in the meantime, we are going to begin talking about distinguishing the flames of inflammation as you grow and improve on your habits of health. Okay. Cause our goal is that you're optimizing your life one healthy choice at a time. All right. So that's where we're going to end for today. Thank you for joining me as we are almost finished element 20. Ah! <laughs> tomorrow we're going to do actually, so we're kind of finished, but tomorrow we're going to do a quick review. All right. So please feel free, like, comment, share the post, you know, the draw, hop on over to the YouTube channel called Healthy and Vibrant. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.